Hello guys, once again, you are welcome to Study By Yourself. And we are in for another mathematical hack. You know, Study By Yourself is all about finding out easy ways to do difficult or challenging things. And today we are going to talk about rotation in rigid motion, where you are told to rotate what you have plotted on a graph to maybe anti-clockwise rotation to 70 degrees, 90 degrees. And I have a simple way to remember this when you have it in your final exam. Most students do cramming and when they get to the point where they are supposed to produce the formula, they end up messing everything up. And when you mess everything up, you are not going to get the full mark. Before I start, I'll encourage you to hit the like button, smash the subscribe button if you've not done so, and comment if you have any questions. And if you have any suggestions or anything, just bring it up. Okay, so let's dive in. First of all, you need five brackets. Five brackets. So you have one, two, three, four, five brackets. Then the next thing you do is you write your X and your Y. So you have X here. You have Y here. Write Y here. X here. X, Y, Y, X, X, Y. So in all you have five. One, two, three, four, five. The next thing you do is you indicate the angles. So you start from 0, 90, 180, 270, 360. Okay, so you do the opposite for the lower part. So you start from 360 over here. 360, 270, 180, 90, then 0. The next thing you do is you write anti-clockwise and clockwise. So this is how you go about it. You're going to write anti-clockwise at the top, anti-clockwise. Then clockwise below. The next thing you do is you indicate negative. Now, you count, you count one, two, and you indicate your negative on the Y. Then you come to where you have 180, 180. Indicate negative on the X, negative on the Y. Then you get to where your two, you have your 270, 90. Indicate your negative on the X. So once you're able to write this, you are done. This is what you need. So when you are told to um, rotate 0 degrees anti-clockwise, 360 degrees clockwise, it's your X. So the, um, the value is, or I'll say the answer is X or Y. And when you are told to rotate 90 degrees anti-clockwise, 270 degrees clockwise, what you, have, what you are going to do is that you are going to make your point. You are going to bring, for example, you have a point, let's say, 1, 2. You are rotating anti-clockwise 90, 270 degrees clockwise. So what you are going to do is you're going to transform and you're going to have minus 2, 1. So this is just an example. And it runs through. You are told anti-clockwise rotation 180 degrees. It's both 180. So it's going to be minus x, minus y. You are going to negate your x value, y value. Then for anti-clockwise 270, clockwise 90 degrees, it's going to be, you're going to bring your y value first and you negate your x. Then for the last one, anti-clockwise 360 degrees, clockwise 0 degrees. It's the same value for x and y. Thank you very much. I hope you've learned something today. I encourage you to like this video if you loved it. And all the best in your exam. Thank you.